Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Ben from Avenue Fitness here in the Avenue Teaching Kitchen alongside my good friend, Nicole Fennell. And today we are continuing our series of healthy foods that suck at nutrition. And so today's topic is going to be about everybody's favorite vice, and that is the diet soda drink or pop if you're from the north, like my grandparents and aunts will all correct me if they watch this video. So, Diet sodas became that crutch that you could fall onto because it's not a regular soda. It's a little bit better for you. It says diet. Why is that not the case? Um, again, you know, we talked about in last segments the importance of improving the quality of what you're eating and not necessarily um, focusing on the quantity so much. Um, so diet sodas sound like they would be, you know, a kind of a free for all. Um, they have zero calories. Um, the word diet in there kind of has a great stigma to us because we think we're going to lose weight if we drink it, but it's really the opposite that happens. So um, even though we're not getting this, this quantity of calories through it, we are still having some sort of hormonal response to the sugar substitutes that are natural or that are present, not naturally, but they are present in the, the diet soft drinks. So um, things like aspartame and saccharin and um, you know the different sugar substitutes do have an impact on our hormones. Um, more specifically, studies have shown that they do make our bodies secrete insulin. Um, insulin is necessary and we have to have it in order to get blood sugar inside the cell. So we have energy. Um, but insulin has to act on sugar. If we're not getting the sugar from the diet soft drink, we'll in turn crave sugar somewhere down the road, whether it's later on that evening or just kind of throughout the week. Um, also, having that insulin kind of floating around in our body puts us into more fat storage mode versus fat burning mode. Um, not to mention, studies are also linking these sugar substitutes more recently um, things like Splenda, which is sucralose. Um, but aspartame definitely has effects neurologically, so it can lead to um, alterations in brain function and lead to things like migraines and deterioration of the brain. So, um, long story short, just not a good option. And um, if you're looking at doing a soft drinks or diet soft drinks for weight loss, not a good option. I say just if you're going to do a soda, the real deal is the way to go. So essentially, what she's saying is, if you don't want a small diseased brain or blood sugar levels that are all crazy you should probably just not drink the diet drink, which is a pretty good idea, so ditch the diet. So that is today's ending conclusion of healthy foods that suck at nutrition, diet sodas.